National Transportation Research Nonprofit TRIP shows Arkansas is among the top four states with the highest spike of traffic deaths between 2019 and 2021. Five News reporter Michael Wilson spoke with those behind the study and RDOT about the reason for that spike. And Micah, both call these numbers alarming. Yeah, Erica, alarming and concerning. And according to the report, Arkansas saw a 37% increase in traffic deaths within the last three years. Now, that's despite less people traveling due to the pandemic. Now, RDOT says a major factor in all of this, they're reporting. The report is, is quite alarming. We really were looking at the impact of, of the COVID-19 pandemic on traffic safety. In 2019, the report shows a total of 500 Arkansas traffic fatalities, while in 2021, that number jumped to nearly 700. Obviously, when you see a spike in crash, crash numbers like this, it's concerning. Ellen Coulter with the Arkansas Department of Transportation says there are two reasons for this. Agencies were not turning in all of their crash reports. But in 2020, RDOT says that changed and the increase in deaths reflect that. However, that doesn't change our um, our priority around safety. RDOT says a worker shortage is also placing the department in a bind. It's just causing there to be fewer troopers and officers out on our highways and interstates. So there's um, less bandwidth. Tripp says an increase in enforcement, lighting, signage, turning and bike lanes should help curb the problem. Safer driving could also stop the increase in traffic deaths, but Tripp's research shows that isn't happening. Beginning with the pandemic, really starting to exhibit riskier behavior, more speeding, less use of safety belts, additional or in increased impaired driving. Now, I did reach out to the Sebastian County Road Superintendent. They tell me that he's not seeing this increase in his county of traffic deaths. However, he says that he is updating signage to make sure that they are visible to people. For now, we're live here in Rogers, covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. Now here